Uh, what's up guys, it's Bye Bye here with another Rise of Kingdoms video. I am currently in Light and Darkness KVK Season 3 and Kinglands will be open in a couple days. Uh, as you can see right here from the Chronicles, uh, the last chapter before Kinglands is here. One day, 16 hours left and there is going to be another 12 hours after and Kingsland will be open. Uh, with that, I will be showing you guys my 5 infantry marches setup that I will be using in Kingsland. Uh, I will explain the reason behind some of the pairings, why I choose them, and I will also be showing some of the testing results that I did recently to help me decide on my commander choices. Uh, so let's go right into it here uh, with my 5 marches setup for Kingsland. So, uh, here is the first march. Oh, I did not change it here. Uh, the first march is going to be uh, Guanyu and Alex. Why I want to use Guanyu and Alex? So this could be my fastest infantry marches out there. Uh, I could use it marches to chase down the enemy if they try to run away. Uh, one thing I noticed that uh, even in like mass open field fighting, sometimes like, people can like back back out and for infantry players. Uh, sometimes your march is a little too slow and sometimes your march is not gonna be able to chase after them so for me to not like for me to like spread out the march speed bonus for like all five of the five marches to make them kind of like a little faster uh sometimes even with that like i cannot chase down on the enemy so instead of like having like all of my five marches with kind of like si similar march speed i want to have one super fast infantry marches that can deal very very high dps that can help me chase down the enemy when i have to and that is going to be brand new and alex that is my first marches there uh my second march is going to be leo and mulan 100 percent infantry here a uh, why leo and mulan so my leo is called leo is the primary commander with defense tantry and leo also has that rage engine there um uh 15 percent uh rage faster which can help mulan casting her buff more frequently there and can also help with like tanking a little bit there uh, maintain survivability for this pair a slight higher and the main idea is that like i want mulan to pair with uh, leo so that she can cast her, her buff more often uh, at least like 15 percent more often so that everybody in my alliance can be benefit from Mulan buff there, and that is the reason why I want to pair her with Grand uh, with Leo. Uh, my third pairing is going to be Charmer Tell and YSG. Still one of my favorite commander pairing here for like tanky and dealing DPS, a lot of AOE skill damage, very high survivability. Can go wrong with it pair right here. Uh. My fourth pair is going to be Constantine and Joan of Arc. Uh, after my, if you have uh, watched my um, previous video comparing Joan of Arc with uh, Mulan, uh, Joan of Arc is still one of the best commander to pair with Constantine at the moment. Uh, her buff is amazing. I would say uh, still one of the best support out there. I want to pair her with Constantine. Constantine is a, an infantry player with the support talent tree, which can like generate rage very very fast there which can help my Joan of Arc casting her skill more frequently as well as the survivability from the infantry talent tree and the support talent tree plus Constantine is a very solid infantry commander as well they can last very very long on the open field and I can provide that constant buff for my alliance members there as well as for my other marches as well so that is my four marches there uh, my fifth march is going to be Richer and Ethelflaed with 100% infantry. Uh, if you have, if you guys have a uh, check some of my like older videos, I recommend that you running Richer with Ethelflaed using mixed troop. But with my most recent testing, uh, Richer and Ethelflaed with 100% infantry is actually perform much better than Richer and Ethelflaed running mixed troop. Uh, one thing is that like re Previously, I thought that her, her force skill gave, gave you 20% damage increase. But now, 
uh, I think after the description update, it only gave you 20% attack increase, which is not very good comparing to a 20% damage increase. It's a completely different thing there. And that is the reason why I am not using mixed troop here. It's going to be 100% infantry, richer, and elto flat there. So those are going to be my fire march setup here. So here is now a quick look at the my with my fire march setup right here. All infantry, Trauma Tell YSG, Grand Duke Alex, Leo, Mulan, Constantine, Joan of Arc, uh, Richard, and Ato Flat there. Uh, I will be using four support commander, Ato Flat, Joan of Arc, Constantine, and Mulan. So I will be the one to provide the support that needed for my alliance. And so now let's go into some of the testing that I've done to back up some of the pairing choices here. Um, so let's show the website here. So here's the testing that I've done. So one thing I want to test it was like originally I wanted to like take out Airto Flat and replace Airto Flat with Mulan. So I did a comparison between like Richard Airto Flat and uh, Richard Mulan there, and like from the, from the test I uh, result I I got like Airto Flat is still irre irreplaceable um she is still very much needed on the open field she is still very good and she is actually performing better than mulan uh from the test result that i got here uh, the amount of troop left uh remaining is higher than what i use using a richer mulan and that is with a fine march setup um next one i wanted to test was so I want to test to like how richer Airto flat mixed troop comparing to richer Airto flat with 100% uh, infantry, and like richer Airto flat using mixed troop like performance is far worse than richer Airto flat with 100% infantry here. Uh, this one have uh, 800,000 troop left, and this one have 800, almost 860,000 troop left here. Uh, so. Definitely using Richard Airto Flat with 100% infantry is a way to go. I think one one of the reason why it kind of makes sense is because uh, when you use mixed troop for an infantry player, uh, you even though you will get that 20%, even though you will get that 20% attack increase from Airto Flat, but you are going to lose out on your uh your, your cavalry and your archer uh, troop inside your Richard Airto Flat mixed marches. Not going to be benefit from your civilization buff, which is five percent increased defense here for infantry. Um, also, as a city skin as well. Um, so my city skin gave me five percent infantry health here and minus five percent archer attack. So when I when I am running a mixed troop marches, my archer attack is actually go down by five percent. So it kind of makes sense that the twenty percent attack increase couldn't make up for that uh, stat boost there. Another thing is that because I am using mixed troop uh, with the quarantine trees that I have on my richer here, I am not being be I'm not benefit from the hose alive skill from richer here, which uh, can have a 10% chance to reduce the damage by 20% for two seconds, which is very very good when it comes to tanking. Uh, so that so that probably is the reason why the the test result was hugely in favor of. 100% infantry using richer and Airto flat instead of mixed troop richer Airto flat there. Um, another test I wanted to do was, uh, so originally I have uh, Alex and uh, Alex and Sanzu, so I want to see if Alex and Mu Alex and Mulan is gonna be able to perform better than Alex and Sanzu, so I take out Sanzu and I replace Sanzu with Mulan here, and it kind of like not much better it's not much better comparing to alex and sanzu here but but because i am a team player i am gonna take that minor losses there so instead of me bringing sanzu i'm gonna bring mulan so i'm gonna cut down on my my kills on the open field but i'm gonna be able to provide the buff that very very much needed for my alliance there by using mulan on the open field so here is a, the test result using alex and mulan and this one is a test result using Alex and Sanzu. A slightly better, slightly better than the one using Alex and Mulan here in terms of like the troop remaining. But in 
in open field in the mass PvP, Mulan buff is going to be much, much more beneficial than Sanzu AoE skill. And so I also did two other tests here, uh, three times. So I want to decide. So I wanted to decide. Um, should I be using, should I be using, a uh, Grand Yu and Leo, and Alex and Mulan? So I was I was debating. I was debating between Grand Yu and Leo, and Alex and Mulan, or Grand Yu and Alex and Leo and Mulan. So another thing I did test for is do one test with the same exactly same lineup except for the one I'm using Alex and uh, Mulan and the other one I'm using Leo and Mulan. And I did three tests. Three tests here. Uh for the one using Alex and Mulan, uh the amount of troops left are like the highest was around eight hundred and seventy thousand and the lowest was uh, around eight hundred and fifty uh, five thousand. Uh, and for the one that I am using Leo and Mulan, uh, the troop remaining from my marches are much higher, which kind of understandable right? because like Leo with that uh, fifteen percent rage engine there can help my Mulan casting her skill more frequently, and I think that all of my marches are benefit from that a stat boost from Mulan there, and it kind of explain why uh, my marches have a lot more troop left remaining here, which is kind of makes sense. And that is the reason why I am picking, I am using Leo and Mulan instead of Alex and Mulan. And instead of that, I'm using Grand Yu and Alex. Uh, so that kind of explained to you guys, some of you guys, why you ask me why I'm not using Grand Yu and Leo. Because they are supposed to be together. And I am using Leo and Mulan instead. So, oh, and let me do, did I do it? So, so these are the final, these are going to be my final five marches setup that I will be using in uh, Kingsland. Uh, if, you, if you are interested to see how well the five marches can actually perform in Kingsland, uh, feel free to, to turn in to my uh, live stream in the next two days. Uh, I will be live streaming uh, Kingdom 16, 1636 uh, when Kingsland is uh, open. Uh, until then, thank you for watching the videos and I hope you guys find this video informative and helpful. Uh, see you then.